This is Jeff from AV Pro Store, and today we're going to take you through a little bit of uh, an overview of the Meridio Fresco 6G HDMI 2.0 generator and HDCP 2.2 tester. To give you an idea of what our setup here is, uh, to my left, your right, is a uh, Samsung UN55HU6950 4K TV. Uh, we've got four cables connected to the input ports, the HDMI input ports. Port 1 is labeled STV or set-top box. Port 2 is labeled DVI. Port 3 MHL. Port 4 is ARC or audio return channel. Here we have our, our, uh, our Fresco 6G generator. Here we have a uh, just a standard off-the-shelf Samsung 1080p Blu-ray player. Um, native resolution 1080p 24. It upscales to 2160p 24. Um, and I'm going to switch it over to here. On this side, we have another display station. This has an NVIDIA Shield. Um, we're using the NVIDIA Shield because it's one of the only products we've found so far that can actually do 4K at uh, the full 2160p60, 444, no, no color compression. Um, also, under tests, we're going to have a set of extenders. So you see a set of 70 meter HD base T extenders, and we'll show you how to troubleshoot through, through a set of extenders. Over here, we've got a what they call a Super UHD TV. This is a UN55JS7000F, and uh, you'll see that this one actually acts quite a bit different than the, the other UHD TV uh, with the ports. Ports on this one are labeled port 1 STV DVI. Uh, port 2 MHL, port 3 ARC, and port 4 is unlabeled. It's just a straight HDMI port. So that's the setup. And we have another um, 6G over here, so we have two to do our testing with. Uh, and also all the, all the cables over here are labeled. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, which relates to 1, 2, 3, 4 on the chart. Right now we're just playing a screensaver from the uh, NVIDIA Shield. And on this side, we're playing uh, a, a Blu-ray player. So let's do, uh, you know, kind of step one. Let's go and see what the maximum signal these four ports can take on this what display. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn HDCP off. And we will put it in 2160p60. And we do get a picture. We do get a signal. Um, so we know that we can get 2160p60 at 444 in port 1, but we cannot get it to lock with HDCP 2.2. So let's drop the resolution down to 2160p30. And then we'll go over to our HDMI or HDCP 2.2. And now let's see if we can get it to lock. Trying. And we still cannot get it to lock with 2.2. So let's take, take it back to 1.4 HDCP. And now we get the signal to lock again. All right. So this is the process we'll go through on each one of these ports to uh, determine what is going to work the best in what port. Um, the other thing I will mention with this display, you do have to change a couple things in the uh, menu to get it to do the expanded colors. So right in here you've got this H oops, HDMI UHD color you do have to make sure this gets turned on if you do want to have any chance of using expanded colors or the uh, the full 444 uh, UHD 50p 60p 444. 
All right, so let's go ahead and that's port one. Let's go over to port two. Change the TV over to port two. Oops. And we should be locked on the same as before. Let's see if we can get HDCP 2.2 through here. It's trying and it's not going to lock. Turn it back off, go back to 1.4, and then we do get it to lock on. All right, <clears throat> so once we find out what the maximum capability of the display is, then we can go in with our generator, and we can... test with different test patterns. For instance, testing for flesh tones, this would usually be done after calibration. <clears throat> Standard ISF color girls, testing for geometry. Uh, this is the actual 240 or uh, 21 by 9 pattern. Uh, and then uh, Standard pattern, two, three, five to one. White level or contrast adjustment, black level. These are all the ISF standard patterns. Contrast ratio, color bars, 3D, moving patterns, white windows, solid colors, multi-burst, moving lines, checkerboards, dot patterns. So you have various patterns you can quickly run through to get a visual check of the display at the same time. And then of course our color multiverse. So we would go ahead and continue that process on each one of these ports to see what the maximum uh, capability of the port was. So now we're going to move over. Now I'm going to move over to port three and I'm going to try that. And port three is now going to lock on like the others without um, HDCP. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on HDCP 2.2. And let's wait a second here. And we do get signal. So now we're getting signal at 2160p uh, 30 444. Let's go ahead and switch over to 2160p60 at 444 and now we don't get a signal so it, it does not take that signal it does not like that let's uh, see if we can change the bit depth here Okay, so I changed it to a bit depth of, uh, uh, I'm sorry, not a bit depth, I changed the color space to 420. So basically I took out half the color. <coughs> so at 2160p60, 420, we get a lock. At 2160p60, 444, we don't get a lock. So. The result is on port 3, which is labeled MHL, that is the best port to use on this display for watching high value UHD 4K content.
because this actually passes HDCP 2.2 and it passes it at full resolution 30, 3840 by 2160 at 60 frames per second or uh, at 30 frames per second 444. Okay, so we could go on and test port 4, but we've already done that uh, previously and it tests out like ports 1 and 2. All right.